Are you ready yet? You're gonna make me late. <laughs> Hello there, YouTube. <laughs> oh, it's all nasty in here. But look at this. I was wrestling with Leo this morning. These are these are clean work pants. Oh my lord. He does not like us leaving. Poor thing. He was sitting there on the bed and he kept pawing at me and crying. He knows he knows when we're leaving. He does not like being left alone. But I don't know, that must be a Siberian husky trait or something, because Sheba was the same way. Cold. There's my little woman. Off to her place of employment. Bye! Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Vancouver and get a coil stick for this damn Honda. Well, I'm down here in Vancouver. Hope I didn't just juke myself out of a nice, uh, nice ride to work today. <laughs> I tell you, it doesn't seem like there's any chance of rain at all. There's Vancouver Plaza. Right up here is the Vancouver Auto Mall, which is all owned by our parent company. And uh, this is this whole area is all part of the Auto Mall. And then they have also have dealers scattered from Longview to Portland. But down here on the end, on the left, is the Honda store which is my destination. Right there is Dick Anna Honda. That's where my coil stick is hiding. They've got it captive in there. <laughs> One coil stick and a couple quarts of dual pump oil. That's that all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive locker hub that, you know, how the four-wheel drive automatically kicks in the second it's needed. Anyway, I was thinking of a of a uh, Dick Hanna employee that uh, did some that uh, did some of the training when I first started um, as a service manager, service director years ago. He doesn't he doesn't do the training anymore. But anyway, he's a real high up employee, one of the directors. I think he's director of service for all the auto dealers or whatever. Anyway, super cool guy. I love this guy. Name's Gary. I was thinking of him. It's the craziest thing. I was thinking of him as I was walking in there. And as soon as I walk around the corner, guess who I bump into? It was fantastic seeing him. Man, he looks great too. But uh yeah, brings back brings back old memories. Speaking of the Hannahs, there's our really super cool corporate headquarters. Oh he, oh, he says it looks like a really fancy uh BMW um, shop or something. I don't know. It just got the. It has the colors and the looks of that, which I think is really cool. I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys <clears throat> yet, but we now have Honda at the Vancouver store. We had it in Longview, but it's at Vancouver here. But I come walking in. This is my what they call my hole. But I come walking in. There's all these groms and ruckus looks like a pit bike war out here should break loose <laughs> cool stuff I'm on my way out of here the day is over gotta go get the mama all right we're off hurry up woman get in this car I just want to go home I just want to go home hurry I hear ya <laughs> oh my way I my butt off Crazy day, huh? Holy moly, yeah. It was crazy. She was a wild one. I don't know if I can make this come out, but check out that beautiful Kenworth over there. It's an older one. Ain't she pretty? Always like this one, the, with the flowers and stuff. They'll be there for the rest of the year. There's the sign that I always try to point, point you guys at that you can't see. That must be the shelf where Kelly got her flowers. She got them out of here as well. Oh man, look at this evening light. 
should have turned it on back there at the, by the river. That was really pretty. Oh, the golden hour. Gotta love it, Mama. porch vlog here tonight. <laughs> my kid, your motorcycle's riding around, my kid's here, neighbor from across the highway's here. That kid never stops. He's at work well before me, gets off after me, and still comes up here and works on more stuff. I know. I. You know what's crazy though is I remember having that same energy. Oh, I know. I how many countless She'd come out hours? There at one, two o'clock in the morning. Are you gonna come to bed? Yeah. It's crazy. I still remember that one that one time that you rebuilt the Toyota and stayed up all night long, and I'm sitting in there in a chair out there in the garage sleeping as you're working away. Finished it. Oh yeah. Rebuilt it. Yeah. Old truck. Oh, she's sitting out there, a haggard out pile of junk. I know it. Because of somebody. that, it's a Ryan. Yeah. Oh, I didn't beat it up. Uh, oh, yeah. he beat the tar out yeah. of it. We all know he did, a <laughs> goofy kid. Yeah. Like your brother saying, no, I didn't beat it up. Mm-hmm, yeah, you yeah, did. He did. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, he's 16, just got his license. And... He's buzzing all over him. Oh, yeah. X half acre. <laughs> oh yeah, got in a crash like two days after he got his license in yeah. Walmart's parking lot there in Chehalis. Yeah, that girl was cutting across the lanes. Yeah. Plowed right into him. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. But uh, I was just thinking of something and we we started talking about that. Oh, I, I'm sorry lo you lost it. Yeah. But I uh, hope you guys had a wonderful day today. It was nice. Yeah. All day today, never dripped a drop. I could have rode my motorcycle and been, yeah, been perfectly safe. But I mean, it was like a almost a sixty percent chance of rain today. But it at certain parts, but. yeah, it didn't rain at all. Yeah, I wore all just my sweatshirt there. all day. I just put my coat on it's now. Still, there's some light. There's some color yeah. out in the skies. What is it? Eight o'clock? Yeah, it's eight o'clock. So getting pretty dark but we decided to do it out here on the porch anyway yeah where's the shadow of that thing hitting you right here okay I just don't want to be oh what the heck was that so we'll make sure I hear the motorcycle again okay it's still going when you hear somebody scream and all of a sudden the motorcycle disappears the sound of the motorcycle disappears yeah. and you run out there <laughs> I think it's the, the neighbor kid, he's got like a little XR80 or an XR100. Those four little XRs, they, I mean, that thing just never stops. And I was the same way when I was a kid. Yeah. My little Harley Davidson 90, my little XR75 Honda, I mean, just literally rode the wheels off of those things. I went years without missing a day of riding before school and after school. So when I was sick or it'd be a snowstorm or whatever, but... I mean, that was pretty rare. I You're lived. still that way. If you could, you would. Yeah. Yeah, really. I would ride a motorcycle everywhere all the time. There were several years yeah. that we did that. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it didn't matter whether there was ice on the ground, yeah. snow on the ground. That was our transportation. Bundle up, woman. We're going. Yep. That's all we had. We I had didn't a, have a car until we had our first child. Yeah. Had that. 69 Buick sports wagon that was my parents and they had long since gave it up they just saved it for you know, us kids you know and uh, it wasn't very often we drove it was when we got on dates and stuff like that we would yeah. we'd take the station wagon during the winter yeah during yeah. the winter when it during was the summer we took the bike yeah and most of the most of the winter time we usually Took some motorcycle, just bundled up and went. Yeah, as long as it wasn't pouring down rain too bad. Yeah. 
but in all fair, going. yeah. But in all fairness, we were living in Longview, and nothing's more than a few minutes away. So yeah, it's not like you're traveling yeah. an hour to get home or something. Yeah, living Except out here. The time we went to Seattle. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that was horrid. Yeah, that was crazy. That was not as bad as Oregon 500. But that was pretty. That's that's second in the worst motorcycle rides of my yeah, life. That Oregon 500 has to be the all-time. Yeah, you should get channel, like a, But I'm not because I can't see the screen. No. I don't know if it's even got both of us in there. <laughs> I'm here. But um, yeah, Oregon 500, absolutely the 500 worst miles I've ever rode in my entire life. You would have that to year. pay me lots and lots of money. I mean, like not hundreds of thousands. It would have to be probably a million. Yeah, that to was ever torture that beyond again. belief. Snow, and there was a diesel spill way up in the mountains. Guy went off a cliff. I, I still never heard where that guy lived or not. That was probably, what, 90, 93, 94, somewhere yeah. in there? Worst I, ride ever. And it took forever to get so her cold. back on a motorcycle. Yeah, I didn't Yeah, but I got her back on a motorcycle again. We, we took that 81 XS 650 Special 2. That's what we took on the Oregon 500, and then we took it to uh, San Francisco. Yeah. And that was another cold, rainy. <laughs> yeah, we decided it was perfectly warm, perfectly dry, and in where were we? Cor Corvallis. I think no. we cut across it. No, Eugene. Yeah. Yeah. Eugene, we decide. We'll take 101 down yeah. the coast. Take 101, and it never, it never stopped. I mean, downpouring. And never saw the sun. Never saw the sun, and I mean the most horrendous pouring down <laughs> rain nightmare ever. And just as we we're pulling into San Francisco, we we're probably I don't know 50, 60 miles from San Francisco. We took, you know, the coast all the way, and uh, all of a sudden we we're coming down, the, rolling down this hill. I remember, and you could see brightness at the bottom of that hill. Go, go faster, go to the yeah. sun, go to Popped the sun. Popped out in the sunshine and. And we took I-5 back. It was hotter than hell and dry. Oh. Never dripped a drop. Just the coast was yeah. just covered in rain. It was so cold and wet. We were trying to think, okay. Because we have everything that we had packed yeah. on as layers because it was so yeah. cold and so wet. I remember getting up in the hotel somewhere on the coast. I don't remember where we stayed. And we're getting up and, you know, that. That thing it freaks you out when you wake up and you're in a strange place, you know. They're so tired from fighting the rain and everything, but I wake up and I'm like, where the hell am I at? And I'm like, oh, that's right, we're wherever on the coast. And uh, I'm like, where the hell is Kelly? You know, I thought, well, well, she might have went to get coffee or something like that. No, nope, she comes walking in. She had done gone to the laundry mat and washed all our clothes and got everything dry again and. Because it was actually nice out at the time. Everything was still wet, roads and stuff. But the sun was out. And we take off. I don't think we made it 15 minutes before it started dumping back I'm on us not. again. Uh, then where did we stay in... Uh, <coughs> where did we stay that time? It was just outside of San Francisco. Vallejo? That wasn't Vallejo, was it? No, was it Eureka that we stayed? I don't know. I don't know either. No, that, no, no. That it was, was a long time it was right outside of San Francisco. Well, that, what it was, no, Vallejo, yeah, it I was don't because remember we took the, well, at first we stopped in Oakland. That's right. That's and then we had yeah. to bring the bike inside the hotel. Oh room. yeah, gunshots, people beating on the oh. door. I just need a fix, please help. I know, and we didn't even notice that when we got the motel. There's bullet holes all inside the room. Oh, yeah. When we like, got there, it was a beautiful hotel. Everything was clean. And then we took a nap. And we wake up, and here all this carrying on. And literally, it looked like a movie scene of some crazy... Apocalyptic yeah. thing had happened. Yeah, you hear bottles breaking, guns going off. So we decided, so we decided to go grab something to eat, you know. And, and uh, yeah, that was crazy, that whole scene. Went to Safeway. Anyway, we come back and I go, Kelly, I'm not leaving that motorcycle out there. So I end up rolling the motorcycle in, and it's a good thing because it got way worse. Yeah. Then we get up the next morning, you know, and look outside, and it literally, 
you know, you ever seen a scene after a tornado comes through a town and it just shreds yeah. everything apart? There's paper and, you know, containers and yeah. bottles and... Not a soul to be seen. Yeah. And you hear... And here's street sweepers going through. They clean it all back up again and start over and wait for the next night. Um, that was nuts. Yeah, we only stayed there one night. Yeah, we got the hell out of there. We. Yeah. I think that's when we went to Vallejo That's or something. when we found Vallejo. Now, that is a cute little place if yeah. you all ever go there. It's just it's outside of San Francisco. It's over 20 years ago now, but who knows what it's like. But Yeah. Anyway, that was that was a fun... The first two days going down was not fun, and that first... Or the second night was not fun, but... Actually, it was kind of fun. It was all exciting, but yeah. nerve-wracking at the time. Hearing guns going off and... Thinking, should we sleep on the floor? You know, you get hit sitting on the bed. And then the regulator rectifier or whatever it was. Yeah, the stator the failed. The stator was the, going out on the bike. Yeah. So we couldn't, like, you know, stop and idle for very yeah. long. And oh, Yeah, it's crazy. Holy moly. And San Francisco traffic. And we never do anything that's not, you know, it's not boring. Yeah. There's always some... Trauma or something to There's a drama yeah. to it, yeah. Trauma or drama. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty nuts. Makes for good stories years later. Yeah. At the time, it's like, I just want to blink my eyes and be home. I'm done with this. Yeah. So, anyway, well, we did have a little story tonight. That's kind of cool. That, yeah. that was unexpected. It just kind of popped out of nowhere. I know. Those are <laughs> our best ones. Yeah. It's not just we get off. Yeah. We will definitely go off in directions. Yeah. So, anyway, we never, we never really plan anything. We literally sit down. And just start the vlog. Yeah. We don't plan anything. You know, the, every once in a while there's something we want to talk about, you know, or something. If there's something exciting that happened, yeah. you know, oh, don't forget, we want to tell them this. Yeah, something specific happened during the day. But other than that, we just sit down and turn the camera on and just kind of like, duh. And then sometimes the whole vlog, as you see, kind of goes, well, uh, uh, we don't really have anything to say. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't think of nothing. But anyway, we better we better roll out and uh, bid you guys adieu. For another day, <laughs> I'll be riding tomorrow. I think I haven't looked at the weather, but I think it's supposed to be nice tomorrow. Yeah, Thursday's so, supposed to be really hot. But yeah. I think it's supposed to be dry tomorrow. I think there's only like ten percent, and that's like late at night. Yeah. I gotta look again. It's pretty damn. It's cool out here now. I got yeah. my coat on. She's yeah, it's her, all. So. It's clear skies. Yeah. So we'll see what the morning holds. Yeah. Probably lots of fog. Yeah. Fog and cold, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I'll take the spider away and wear all my gear and yes. shove it in the... Yeah, sit there and suck in. Nothing else I can turn the grip heaters on or something. <laughs> I know. It's amazing how warm those keep you. Oh, yeah. Like, well, I know the passenger ones do. I turn them little suckers on. Yeah. Ah. Roasty toasty back there. As long as your hands are hot and stuff, your body doesn't seem so cold. Yeah. Great. See? There we go. Off on another yeah. little thing again. Look, yeah. We'll let you... Nice people go. We will <laughs> see you tomorrow. You guys have a wonderful night. And so tomorrow, same smoke time, same smoke channel. Oh, damn. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Manana. All right.